Hello, my name is Clive Titmus. I'm in the shop today at the Early Music Studio and I'm going to talk a little bit about using previously owned materials, you might say, to uh, make musical instruments with. So they were at one time musical instruments and now we're going to use that as a resource to make more. Uh, I have a friend who repairs old pianos and he sometimes gives me, gives me pieces of these pianos and today I have pieces of a lid from a piano from a British piano of the early 19th century. The quality of the material available to these makers uh, in London at the time was very, very high. They were able to get material you would never see today because the forests were not completely logged out in Central America and in the Caribbean and they were, they could get very wide boards, uh, planks of mahogany especially, and that's what I have here. So what they did with these uh, pieces was they would take the mahogany and um, use veneers such as Brazilian rosewood in this case. You can see this has been, it's very scratched up. It's got some mold and watermarks on it. Um, but once it's sawn into smaller pieces, it could be used. Uh, I'm going to use it as a resource for making guitars. So what we did with it was using some water and a palette knife and a steam iron. You just apply a little bit of water, let it soak, use the knife to undermine and heat, heat and steam, and you end up with this. It's a beautiful, beautiful pieces of rosewood veneer. And this veneer is perfectly quarter sawn, that is to say the grain is at a right angle to the surface, and uh, it's very straight grained, there are no knots in it, and it's much thicker than the kind of knife veneer that you would find today. Uh, the, in those days, they used to saw the veneer. You can clearly see on some of these pieces bandsaw marks. So we know that they used a saw to make the veneer rather than sawing, sawing very slowly, rather than a knife as it's done today with the machinery. So the, uh, after the board's been cleaned up, it looks pretty messy. You have to scrape it a little bit first to get the shellac off, just like that. And then underneath the board you can see there is actually a substrate of, looks like walnut to me. So they glued it, they, perhaps they glued the walnut to the veneer first, forming a thicker layer. And then using a press, it was pressed onto the, with using high glue, pressed onto the mahogany. So that means that the mahogany is, underneath, is really beautiful quarter sawn material which we can then use to repair or make new instruments. Uh, mahogany is a favorite material. Here's a, a, a Martin guitar neck. This is in the style of a Martin guitar also made out of the very same mahogany, Honduras or Central American mahogany. It's very stable and highly desired among musical instrument makers for making uh, because of its strength and lightness. So here's a guitar. A friend of mine bought this on the internet, and it has had an, uh, there's been an accident. Uh, this is a kit guitar, and it's made good high quality material. It's made of mahogany, of course. And this mahogany is good quality, not as good as the piece that I've liberated from the lid. But uh, this instrument's had an accident. Maybe it fell off the bench or the mold or something. It's hard to know. And the side had to be removed. So we can then clean that up. Uh, make a new side with this material and then um, glue that on to the, where the binding is. It's a relatively simple operation. So that's today's adventure in wood reclamation.